welcome to Sheena Porta Youth Link, where our redeemed, revived, and transformed guest gets real on empowering youth. I'm your host, Sheena Lynn Hansen, and I am so happy to be with you today. It's a season one review, and listen, the enemy is terrified, God is glorified, and your soul will be edified. I am so happy to have with me Minister Nicole Brown, and trust me, it's about to go down because God is about to move. Amen, amen, amen. Welcome, Minister Nicole. First Thank of you. all, you look so absolutely gorgeous, Thank beautiful, you. amazing. You Thank look, you. I love your dress. It's just so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much for being on the show. What I want for you to do for me is use one minute to tell the viewing audience who you really are. Good morning, good night, good afternoon, wherever you are. My name is Nicole Brown. I'm just a normal, humble um, servant of the Most High God. I fear God, I love Him, and I am running after God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, and you look amazing running Thank after you. him, baby. Thank Continue. You. I you. believe that the Bible is a foundation of truth. So what I want to ask you is, what's your favorite scripture and what it means to you? Well, Sheena, I have heard this scripture so many times, mm -hmm. but to me, it cannot get stale. Mm -hmm. Romans 8 verse 28. Mm. All things work, work together, together for good mm. for they that love him oh. and that are saved mighty God and are called That's according to, to his mm. purpose. Yes. You know there are so many things that people may experience in their lives. Yes. But when when we look at the end product, we say yes, man. Everything just come together. You know, like sometimes you cook a pot of soup. Mm -hmm. Yes, I put in a little this, I put in a little, I dash this, mm -hmm. I dash that. Mm -hmm. And when the soup don't cook, you get one hearty, big, delicious, scrumptious <laughs> meal out of the soup. Yes, man. Yes. Yes. So, so even sometimes when you put in a little, maybe it over salt. It, you know, a little too much salt, mm -hmm. but at least it is still edible. Yes. Sometimes it's so life just throws lemons. Yes. You know, but when we at the end of the day when we look, mm -hmm. all things just come together. That's I just say, God, that you do all the time. Yes. Yes. It has to come. All when the all when the obstacles come. Yes. Everything will just Fall into place. Glory to God. My love, oh, you bring up the pot of soup because when woman I got you. You're not going for soup right now. Amen. All things come together for the good, you yes. know. The little church or the little carrot, the little pumpkin. Yeah, what about the little clean. soup, man? What's little gas? Yeah. 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 So, I know that you have been watching Sheena Power Talk and you have probably watched um, many episodes, many. but yeah. which one did impact you the most and how? I think the one, I love them all. Yes. I, I think the one that impacted me the most was with um, Shireen Palmer. Yes. From um, Rehab, Rehab to Root. Yes. And um, Prophet Alwyn. Alwyn Allen, yes. Yes. And uh, they just touch on a number of issues. I know that she has had a very, very rough childhood. Yes. And when I think about what my son, yes. you know, was going through, and there were moments even in her testimony where she, she spoke about the bad things, the negative things that were spoken over her life. Mm -hmm. And at the time, she didn't understand. She didn't know, mm -hmm. but it was a curse. Mm -hmm. basically yeah. that was set over her and it just allowed her to just go down a path of destruction mm -hmm. so for me that's that 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 spoke to me mm -hmm. spoke to my spirit because i have a son that um has been medically challenged and yes. and and i know what it is to fight for a child mm -hmm. you know so to see or to hear all of those negative things mm -hmm. that were spoken over her and it just allowed her to go just down no. a destructive road. Mm -hmm. It just proves to me or solidifies that as people of God, as mothers, mm -hmm. as parents, mm -hmm. we have to know what we speak over the mm -hmm. lives yes. of our children. Something and you get pregnant again. Listen to me, man. Peer.
perseverance. Oh, go dear, go dear, go dear. Some of you all need to repent. Some of you all need to go down in prayer and reverse the curses that has been established from your mouth over your children. That is why they are the way they are. That is why the young generation is the way they are today. Their heart has become so careless and you find that they are moving away from God. And that is because of the seed that us as parents and adults are sown. The Bible said, Faith commit by hearing and hearing the word of God. I said low self-esteem commit by hearing and hearing negativity. Hallelujah. Ah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So enough of us as parents, we need to go in repentance and begin to pray for our children. We need to sow seed in our children. We need to call them some doctors and stop calling them warmongers. We need to prophesy. I say, I see you. You look a nurse like yourself too much trouble. I prophesy that the enemy will not use you. We need to prophesy over our children's life and stop sowing seed of negativity because this is what you're reaping now. And then you say, God, my home look like it cursed. No, are you curse your seed? Hey! Hallelujah, mighty God. It's you cursed. This that episode really was gut wrenching for me. Mm, mighty God. And as you spoke about your son, could you give, give us a little story about that? How 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 you cope? What happened? Um. <laughs> It's a, it's a story within a story. So yeah. I don't know if one episode Go ahead. can, can um, deal with all of this. But um, I realized I, I, when I was pregnant, I had a terrible pregnancy mm. in an auto hospital, bed rest and all of that. And then when my son was born, I realized that his eyes were dancing. Yeah. So I went up to the hospital, maybe about two or three times. Yeah. And I said, Mommy, so baby, I dance. Mm-hmm. But to me, I don't know if it was a mother's instinct. Yeah. I knew that something, something was, was wrong. wrong. Mm-hmm. But they just said, go back home and, and just watch it and wait. And then he was born with a with, with, with his foot turned. So the ankle part was turned. Mm-hmm. The doctor said, like, um, one out of 3,000 babies born like that. Don't worry yourself. A serial casting can fix it. So yeah. from five days old, he was in a cast. He was placed in a, in a cast. Mm-hmm. And I think that was the first time I cried. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, he was just five right. days old. Mm-hmm. Stretch out the foot and, you know, to kind of hold it, mm-hmm. you know, and put it in a cast. But he was doing the serial castings every week. But when he was three months old, I realized that his eyes were still dancing. Mm-hmm. And at times, it seemed as though he wasn't looking at me. But yeah. he would listen to my voice. Yeah. And I took him down to the, the country, because I'm from Hanover. Yes. Proud Hanoverian. Mm-hmm. I took him down to the country, and a good friend of mine, um, she couldn't wait for Aunt to see him. Mm-hmm. And she was playing with him on the bed. And she played and she was calling his name, she called him Papi. And she was saying, hi, Papi. And Papi was laughing, mm-hmm. Papi was joking. But then when I came back to Kingston, she called me and she said, Nikki, I'm going to say something to you, but I don't want you, want you to, to get upset with me. Mm-hmm. I said, what happened? She said, I have a three month old baby in my hand and that child is smiling at me, is looking at me. Mm-hmm. But I realized that, I remember that when I had Papi, Mm-hmm. Papi wasn't looking at me at all. His yeah. eyes were dancing. It was a confirmation. Sure. Mm-hmm. At that time, I did not really know biblical scriptures, mm-hmm. but I knew that the Lord was saying, it needs to be fixed right now, yeah. because it was something that was in my spirit for yeah. three months. Yeah. I remember at the time, I left my car in Hanover, so I didn't have a ride. And I called a good friend of mine and I said, can I borrow your car? I need to go to UWE. Mm-hmm. And she came and she dropped out the car and she took back the bus to work. Yes. And I packed up my son and we went up to UWE. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you something, there's a scripture, can a mother's tender love cease towards a child mm-hmm. that she bears? Yes. Because I remember coming out of the car, when I came out of the car, it was raining. Mm-hmm. So imagine I have my handbag, I have my baby bag, mm-hmm. I have my baby, I have a big umbrella. Mm-hmm. But I was hell bent on seeing the doctor mm-hmm. today. Yes. And I walked in the pouring rain to the eye clinic. 
Oh. To arm, to arm, to arm. I think I went to one of the medical stations and they said, told me to go to the eye clinic. And the eye clinic is very far in at UE. Mm -hmm. And when I walked, my, my feet were wet. Mm -hmm. You know, because the rain has soaked me now, you know. But as a mother, mm -hmm. I felt the need that my child mm -hmm. needed help and needed help now. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I got to the nursing station, I said, Nurse, my baby needs to see a doctor today. Mm -hmm. And she turned to me and she said, But mommy, um, we're, we're through taking um, um, appointments and you don't have an appointment for today. And she I don't know, I don't know if it was the look that I gave her. I said, Nurse, help me. Help me to help my son. Yes. And I nearly broke mm -hmm. in front of, and I think um, compassion just came in her heart. Mm -hmm. And she said, Go and pay and come back. Mm -hmm. And I went and I paid and I sat there. When I got in, I, I didn't call anybody. I didn't tell any, I didn't want anybody to talk me out of it. Mm -hmm. So I just, you know, like when something in your, in, in your mind, there is something in your belly, and you say, guess what? Mm -hmm. God, I'm here, on, I'm here you're going out on this limb. Yes. So it didn't matter to me at the point that I was alone, yes. because there was a something that needed to be fixed. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't think that nobody could understand. Mm -hmm. So I didn't call anybody. And when the, when the junior doctors came, and I realized everybody was feeling his head. And I said, mm. and everybody come and they said, Mommy, the consultant is coming at five o'clock. You need to, to stay and speak to the consultant. Mm. It was after 12. Mm. So you know, it's a serious thing, this, you know. Mm -hmm. And I remember when the consultant came, it was at that time I called his father. Right. And I told him, and he was, he was in the country mm. and he drove up immediately. Because he too, he's a very supportive father, by the mm, way, you know, and um, he came up and when the, when, when the consultant came, it was like, um, baby Sheena, mother for baby Sheena, um, this is the medication, come back six weeks. Mm -hmm. Mother for baby this, parents were that, mm. but my son was last. Yes. And uh, um, mother for, um, for Tyree Sims, um, come over here. And they took me to a little space. Mm. So you notice something around, mm. and it was at that time they said, Mommy, when we felt the head, we realized it's abnormal, and he has water, um, uh, um, water on his brain. Ooh. His head is, is going to go rapidly after this, mm. and he needs to, to do an emergency MRI right at this mm. time. He needs to do surgery to leak the water from his head. Mm -hmm. That is why he's not seen, because the water has shut down the pupils. Oh, so, so Mama Sika. Mm. Jesus, something just ran through my body. Mm. Glory to God. And Lord. he said, Do not leave here tonight and not do an MRI. Mm. He said, This is an emergency case. Mm. This is a 119 yes. case. And um, we left and we went to another part. I went to the neuro, neuro, to see the neurosurgeon, mm -hmm. and he did the sur um, he did the scan, mm -hmm. and uh, the father broke. I didn't cry, mm -hmm. and when he showed us, like he compared two head, two brains to mm -hmm. us, and when you look around the brain of my son, mm -hmm. it, the water was black around mm -hmm. it. It was like a mass around mm. it you know like you have a lake mm. and, and and the land around the lake mm. right his head was like the lake mm. and he said mommy daddy this has to be done now this has to be withdrawn from the head if you wait on um, two weeks he's not going to make it mm. because the water is going to swell up and it's going to um, cut off his breathing and everything mm. but the thing about it i remember when we were waiting for something some referral a lady came up and we were both crying now and he was in the um the car seat mm -hmm. and he said the lady said where you cry for and i said my baby is sick and she said your baby sick mama i saw the pity them sick all the time i say every time them sick you know um you know ball ball and she just walked away but she didn't know the magnitude of what oh, i was carrying mm -hmm. she didn't know it Mind and Luckily for us, we had a lot of support from family mm. and friends. Yeah. So we had to buy the shunt. It's a shunt that you place in the head behind mm. the ears mm. to withdraw the water. So that was like over $100,000 at the time. Mm -hmm. And so <clears throat> we just got a lot of support. So we bought it. Yeah. And I'm telling you that 
um, handing him over for the surgery morning mm. was one of the hardest mm. things mm. because he was three months. He said to me, Mommy, he may not come out. Mm. Mommy, he may be in a vegetative state because remember, you're talking about mm. the brain, you're talking about going in the head now. Mm. And I remember I hollered to a God Ooh. that I didn't even know like I know now. No. Oh, glory. I hollered to God that morning when they were pushing him down. And I remember saying to a nurse, you think his sight is going to come back? Mm. And she said, mm -hmm. just pray. Mm. Just pray. And he went into the surgery. Did the surgery and came out all of his head, his head, you know, bandage and everything. Oh. And I remember they said to me, Mommy, um, wear bright colors around the crib. And at the time I was sharing down at Minister Heather's church um, over the weekend. At the time, in my distress, I could only find an orange and a red shirt like what you have on. Mm -hmm. And I would wear one today, mm -hmm. go home later, wash it, put on the orange one. Mm -hmm. Because I had faith that when his sight was restored, mm -hmm. he's going to see me. Mm -hmm. So I just walk around the crib in the car and say, hi, Papa, hi, Papi, around the crib. Mm -hmm. And then little by little, I saw his eyes following me yes so if he regained his oh, sight hallelujah he regained mm. his sight mm. but it one of the eye the left eye is badly damaged yes so he has had he's partially blind in that eye mm -hmm. and so um he has had four eye surgeries mm. um to date so he did the surgery and he came out he had to learn to rebalance he had to learn to to do because he has his instrument now in his head yeah you know so he had he had to learn to to just move around with it and his head though went back at the time um from the time he was diagnosed until the time he did the surgery mm. his head was as big as a jackfruit mm. you know jackfruit mm. and it's shaped like a bicycle seat mm. so when you take him up all he could do was rest his head on his on the shoulder Mommy. because he didn't have the strength can just so imagine what you were feeling at yes, that man. time yes man may have to ask god tell what do me you know i i really had to say to god i said god i have given like I, i've given back that but that was what i said in my ignorance yeah. because at the time i looked at myself and i said ah, but i'm a professional I am not going around having abortions. I'm not going, you know, so I was looking at the natural things. Yes. And people have pit me all the time and leave them all about the place. You know, I am I am not doing that. I'm stable professionally. So why did you allow that to happen mm. to me? But you see, time and time, mm. you, you just realize that it had to happen. Oh, it had to, to happen. Work together. Yeah, shakusa. Mm. It had to mm. happen, woman Come of God. On. Because through that circumstances, I had to dig deeper. I had to find a God that I did not know. Oh, hashtag. Yes. She had to find a God that she didn't mm. know. Yes. Could you just imagine what she was feeling at that particular time? Your one child. Yes, ma'am. Going through that. I, I sense that this is such a special boy. Mm -hmm. yes. And 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 do do what he go, go through strengthen you. My God, it's gonna be even a bigger testimony for him. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes. Go ahead, woman. And uh, I think after he had the, um, the, the, the first surgery on the head, we kept on working on his leg. Because remember now, he was born with the inverted leg. But they said it was the brain who told the foot to turn Ooh. because the water was forming in his head for me. It was in my tummy. Ooh. So it was that problem. It was the two problems mm -hmm. that connected. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, you we casted the leg for one year. Mm -hmm. They realized that he still wasn't standing straight on it. Mm -hmm. And so he, he was transferred to the Boston Mantic Children's Hospital. When he went there, he did two surgeries. They realized, oh, the casting had pulled out the hip. Ooh. Yeah. Because oh. remember, you know, the, the, the leg was being casted for me was five days old. Mm -hmm. So when he got down there, he, he wore the cast for a year. So there was, the, the foot could not stay in place because it was out, the casting pull out the hip, mm. pull out the hip. So just imagine 
I'm leaving from one hospital with mm -hmm. one situation now, you know. Mm -hmm. And he's on eye clinic at UE. He's on surgery clinic. Mm -hmm. He's on PD neuro. Yeah, he's on Fasio Max because uh, the, the way the, the water was so heavy around his head, his entire skull was fractured. So sometimes when you felt his head, you could feel some soft things. Mm -hmm. You know, like when you have a, have a, um, a crack up, mm -hmm. you could see the cracks in his head. Yeah. So they had to work with a special surgeon yeah. to, um, to put back um, mm -hmm. the cap together Ooh. so just imagine going through all of that Ooh. and then now you're being transferred at another hospital to, to fix the leg so he went to ue and went down to children's hospital and he did that surgery i think i think they are uh, maybe about three four times different times they did two on the ankle as soon as the ankle was fixed come right back mm -hmm. stubborn the hip bone, as soon as they put it back in, it slipped out again. Mm -hmm. So they had to go back in, put it back. Right. And then um, he just, it was just one one thing after another. Mm -hmm. It was so, it was, I remember a friend of mine reminded me um, that one day I drove to a workplace and I said to her, I feel like going in front of a stoplight, in the middle of a stoplight, mm -hmm. and park there and allow a trailer to hit the car. Mm -hmm. I cannot remember telling her that, mm -hmm. but it, it it just shows it just shows you where I was mentally. Mighty God, I was in a bottomless pit. Mm -hmm. I was in a place, and um, it was just it was just very very rough. So mm -hmm. even when he was one. He couldn't walk properly. He was still walking on his ankle. So yeah. he would try to balance what he couldn't. But he walked upright, and he was very, very bright because they um they would tell me, "Mommy, um have a little play area mm -hmm. in the in the house for him, you know, to um to, to to ensure that he develops and his brain." So I put a lot of you know colorful things, yes. a lot of building blocks and so forth. Glory so I tried to give him. Mm -hmm. um that you know as much as possible mm -hmm. oh my god I, I i this has to be a part two because i really want to know how you got over but oh my god there are persons now that are going through this situation with their children mm -hmm. what would you say to a mother right now time is against us but what would you say to a mother that is going through with their child at this particular time let me tell you something Push with your child. Push with your children. It doesn't matter the circumstances. And don't do it because you're thinking that your child or your children should be an old age pension because that not there again. Mm -hmm. What you should do is just do your best as a mother. You see, just like how God never give up on you, do not give up on your children at all. Mm -hmm. I pushed, I pushed, I pushed, and I'm still pushing mm -hmm. because I know that things are not happening so. Mm -hmm. No, it not just happen so. It is because God has an expected end. Ooh, he God. has an expected end um, for your child. Mm -hmm. He had an expected end for me, Sheila. Oh, yes. I just didn't say it. People saw it, but that was going to be in part two. Oh, yes. After mm -hmm. that, people saw it. Yes. People say, you know, see fire around you. I say, which fire she attack after no, 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 no. I never know uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, I never know. Say, after that, it was when I am going to be intimately connected mm -hmm. with God. God. Mm. Because at the time I knew just about a God. I didn't knew God. Mm. So I'm gonna tell you um social media people who learn to pick them who no fight for them with all that you have. Yes. yes. Do not give up on them mm. because God never never give mm. up on you. Well woman of God, mighty God, amazing, amazing, amazing. I love, I love how strong you are. And I love the fact that you don't even look like what you've been through. But I'm thinking, your son going through all of that. And I looked at his face and he's so, yes, he's such bright. And he's just as a great countenance. And that's someone that went through so yes, much. And probably still going through still so going much. Through but I think he has a personality that is not me, his, his father's, you know. Um, just cool and collective. And, and it does some, doesn't yeah. that do something it to does. you? It does. It, it encourages me. Ooh. He will come out of a surgery. He did a surgery like um, maybe a month ago. Uh -huh. And he came out. And when he came out, he said, Mommy, can you stop a case? 
Wow. I love that? that. And I think God would probably use his personality to give you, yes. to cause you to cope. That's yes. probably your coping mechanism. Even so. though he's going to, but he's mm. not taking it that yeah. bad. He's not daunting. Yeah, I'm so he's happy. so resilient. He's mm. super resilient. Yeah. But I'm happy that this situation brought you closer to God. And I'm yes. excited to hear yes. what happened mm -hmm. and how the yes, preaching started. <laughs> but you know, mm -hmm. as we are going to um, part two, I, you know, somebody is looking at you right now and say, whoa, beautiful, strong, how? Oh, I'd like to talk to her because I'm going through a situation like this. Where can they find you? You can go to Facebook, um, just send me a friend request on Nicole Redeem. Yes. And I am right there, send me a message. We can talk after that. And woman of God, I am happy that you, you pointed out the episode that impacts you because you have seen in the episode what you do not want to do for your son. Yes, yes. Because you, you could have seen the situation and said, oh, what is this? Oh my God. I could have taken on a father whole long and just leave it. Yeah, I said, oh, what is this? Okay. But your push. Yes, man. There was your something push. in me that was telling but that was saying, do not give up on it. Yes. They were, I didn't know what at the time. And I just feel like, I, I, I just feel like the best is still yet, yet to, to come, come from the situation. Mm -hmm. yes. God is not the mm -hmm. God is not mm -hmm. done yet. No, sir. No, done there's yet, so, there's you know, some, there's yet. something, there's something being birthed yes. out of this. Yes. Woman of God, keep pushing, keep Amen. pushing through your contraction yeah, things. Mama, yes, I'm telling you, they feel, oh, God, there's glory. Mm -hmm. There's glory, there's glory. You are Fantastic. just going to smile when you see after the pain. Yes. Oh my God, Mona yeah. God. I want to thank you so much for watching Sheena Power Talk. This is such an amazing, amazing episode. And part two is coming right back at you. Let me tell you something. God is amazing. Trust him. Woman of God, you trust in yes, God. Man. And still trust, trust in God. I trust him even when we never know him. Yes. Let's know. Whoa. Well, Trust God, that's trust God. And the word of God said, trusting those that trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, mm -hmm. they will not be moved. Mm -hmm. People of God in this season, you have to trust God with every mm -hmm. single thing on the inside of you. I want to say God bless you and thank you so much for watching Sheena Power Talk. Power Gang, big up yourself. Power Team, big up yourself. Power Warriors, they don't know. Big up yourself, you know. I love that your soul is being edified. Stop what you're doing. Subscribe, comment, and share. This story must go. Come on. This is this is powerful. I love you. Take care. Whoa. Thank you for watching Sheena Power Talk Youth Link. Please remember to subscribe, 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 like, share, and leave a comment. And if you want to donate to this amazing program, you can just look at the information below and contact me. And God bless you. Thank you. As for now, take care of yourselves and your family.